Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I shall be attempting to take this Lotus Europa from Shabby to Shiny. This one is, well, it's basically a second attempt. Uh, I think it was my second or third ever video was a Lotus Europa, and I thought, you know, it's been probably nine, ten months now that I've been doing this. And I just wanted to have another another go at it, really. Um, this one has seen, well, very, <laughs> seen certainly some better days. It's It's been, I guess, trampled on and it's been left in some kind of dirt or sludge or slurry. And yeah, it's, it's quite bad, this one, inside and out. And, you know, some things happen along the way with this one. So you'll have to stick with me. But with 2,000 likes, it could be yours. So, two um, rivets on this car, but they're quite small. So what I didn't want to do was kind of drill down the centres. Um, I just wanted to take the flange off. So having a, a better investigation to this. Of course, you can see there at the bottom the where someone seemingly stamped on it. The kind of side is bowing out. The door doesn't really open. The glass is broken and... Obviously, we're missing part of the tow hook there. But like I say, I've just taken the heads of those uh, rivets off to really see what we've got inside. Now, this is probably the dirtiest interior that I've ever seen. Just giving it a little bit of a wiggle there just to see really how, you know, if it's kind of lost its rigidity. You know, some of these cars, they get brittle and they fall apart, especially considering this one's been, I don't know, probably left underground for a, for a long time and I'm just trying to get out the door retaining piece here and it's given me yeah, quite the bit of aggro to be honest with you normally these kind of flick out straight away obviously with the additional kind of crud and muck and corrosion and in just in my hand you can see there uh, one of the doors has fallen out, but now we've kind of uh, another p section of the car is broken. We're now down to, I think, just one part of the three parts that were holding onto this car. So, you know, in my head, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And there goes the retaining piece finally. Like I say, it's. Uh, we've got the original uh, glass or at least part of it still in position <clears throat> so not taking too much care or consideration with that just breaking it out the remainder but yeah we're in a in a bit of a bad way with this casting so just live on camera trying to figure out how to put this back together you see that kind of front I guess the right hand side um, arch or fender it's kind of bowing out so I give it a good old whack and uh, pull that back in this A pillar is bent and flattened Now, to be honest, I have, well, I felt like I had repaired worse. But there was a, there was something different in this casting. Like I say, it wasn't just broken. It was bent and broken and disfigured. And kind of the, the so much uh, pitting in the, in the metal. But I've used this little bit of glue now. And I've actually got it into position. It's almost there. It's just glued at kind of three points. And it is just uh, uh, holding on at one point. And I'm thinking maybe this is going to be a goer. You know, feeling quite positive at this point. And we've got the wheels here. I wanted to change out the wheels. I had no idea what, what wheels at this stage I would go with. But 
in order to get it into the caustic soda I still need to remove this uh, plastic um, kind of suspension piece yeah quite heavily um, I guess covered with mud and crud and surprise really that plastic just popped out okay I thought it might have just crumbled in my hand but anyway we got the casting now into my foot long hot dog jar cover the casting with some boiling water straight from the kettle and a tablespoon of caustic soda So giving it a swirl around. To be honest, there's so much dirt and crud on here. You know, we're not going to be able to see anything. So I'll just put that to one side for a moment, let it do its thing. And I'll try and clean up as best I can the interior and that uh, wheel retaining piece. Like I say, it's probably been 10 minutes or so. It's kind of done its trick. And actually, you can see the casting is still in one position. It's still holding on. So that glue was seemingly unaffected by the caustic soda, which was an interesting experiment in itself. But after kind of washing it through, there's the doors there. Uh, making sure I don't lose these doors down the U bend which I have done on many occasions now. And a bit concerned about the kind of base here. Certainly more cruddy, <laughs> um, if there's a better term, than usual. And I can actually see here, you know, the, the glue has uh, kind of pulled away. It's still in position, but it's just pulled away. But, you know, if I look over this casting now, and you know, look at that pitting, it's worse than a 14 year old's face, that car. And I think it was at this stage that I just, I think I've accepted that this one is, is just going to be too far gone for a nice clean restoration today. Bearing in mind I've got probably six of these castings, I will be swapping that out for another body. But keep trying to keep as much of the, uh, the car as I can. So. Going on to this uh, base here, it actually does polish up pretty well. So as you can see, before your very eyes, it gets a little bit of shiny shiny and using this uh, glue I've uh, put back now the uh, wheel retaining piece so that'll be now just set aside and I've cleaned up that interior and chopped off the kind of rem I guess the remainder of that uh, tow hook and of course you've got to keep a nice and clean tidy space so this is a version 2 we've got the we got basically we've got the doors still of the original car they were in good condition they could be used but certainly the body now we are on a different casting one that was you know in a bad shape but obviously better than the one that we had so um, I hope you'll forgive me for uh, switching out the body here but we're going with the Tamiya fine surface primer in white and this will get a good coat in and it looks pretty smooth great stuff this and now that it's dry we're going to be hitting it up with some colour that my wife liked basically I've got I don't know a hundred different colours and I said to my wife you know you never choose one what colour would you like to see 
and she went through and of course she picked out a pink she picked out a purple and I said well how about a mixture of both and she said perfect so uh, I done a 50% pink 50% purple and I don't know what color that makes is it mauve violet I don't really know but it's a color that she likes so one for the ladies perhaps I know that I've got a good 15% female audience so thank you ladies for watching my little videos restoring old toy cars of course toy cars are for both boys and girls so it's the following day everything is now clean and dry you got the uh, body there nice and shiny shiny the glass now and I've gone with these kind of bling wheels they seem to fit the uh, the car but here's kind of really kind of maybe what we started with and here is the result so I've now put in some detail you can see there in the headlights coming around to the side the wheels I think they're a good size a little bit of chrome on the door handle a little bit of chrome kind of accents around the side there on the badge around the back with the uh, kind of exhaust tip and the number plate and then the colors there in the uh, rear lights as she comes back round seeing through the clear nice clean glass seeing the white interior I'm not a lover of the color but my wife does so you know happy wife happy life 2,000 likes it could be yours you know a present for the wife for Christmas and anyway she want to thank my amazing patrons and thank the rest of you for watching Hopefully you'll stick around for the next one.